In Creole Parametric, there is an outdated feature called a cosmetic groove. It's even more outdated in Creole 9 with the addition of the Divide Surfaces command, but let's take a look at how to use it. And the idea behind a cosmetic groove is that back in the day, back in the 1990s, computers weren't that strong. So a lot of times you would save creating solid geometry by creating cosmetic features. If we go to the engineering overflow menu, here we have cosmetic sketch, then cosmetic thread and cosmetic groove. It is so outdated that when you click on it, it still uses the old Pro Engineer 2001 interface and before. And the first thing I want to know is what surfaces do I want to use for the groove? I'm just gonna pick this top surface in the model and then click OK and done refs. And now it is asking me to set up my sketch. I'm gonna turn on my datum di plane display for a moment. I'm gonna sketch on the plane called top. In the old way of setting up a sketch, you also had to pick a viewing direction. I'm fine with that viewing direction. And then to orient the sketch, you would pick a side of the computer screen, like the right side of the computer screen, and pick something to face that side of the screen. I'm going to choose this datum plane called right. And now let's go to our sketch view. Let me turn off my plane display. And for this one, I'm just going to offset the outer edge. Let's go to the offset command. This is the new offset command interface in Creo 9. Let me select an edge and then use the shift key to grab the tangent loop. And let's change the value to negative 2.5. And I'm happy with that. Let's hit the check mark. And so now I have the sketch that I want. Let's hit the OK button. And our cosmetic feature is created in the model. You can see what it looks like. Again, it is just basically a sketch projected on a surface. One thing about cosmetic grooves is that you can pattern them. If I left click on it, I can choose pattern from the mini toolbar. Let me change to my top view for a moment. I've got this dimension here. Let me click on it for my dimension pattern. It should probably be negative 2.5. Let me try that. Let's create a total of four instances and then hit the check mark. And so there you see the cosmetic grooves that were created in a pattern. I'm just going to select them and hide them because I'm not going to need them for a moment. In a minute, I'll show you how I would create that today. And so now let me go to my datum plane display. I'm going to show another example of a cosmetic groove using text. Let's go to the engineering overflow menu, cosmetic groove, and I'm going to place my groove as an engraving on this surface. Let's click OK and done refs. And then I will choose to sketch on the plane called front. The viewing direction is fine. And to face the right side of the screen, once again, I will choose the datum plane called right. Let's go to our sketch view, turn off our plane display. And for the sketch, I'm gonna use the text command. And let me choose a vertical line over here. Let me move the dialog box to the side. For the text, I will use the name of the Acme company. Let's change the alignment to center. And this looks good. Let's click the OK button and then hit the middle mouse button to get out of the text command. You can adjust the dimensions as desired. Let's change that to a 4 and this one to a 12 and then hit the check mark. And so now we have our second cosmetic groove created as that projected curve. One thing to note about these cosmetic grooves, they're not curves that you can use as the inputs for other commands. So let me show you how I would do this today. Again, you would create real features that would remove material from the model. Let's create a sketch and then project it on a surface. So I can go to the sketch command and let me choose this surface. And let's choose the data plane right to face the right hand side of the screen. Okay, so let's go to our sketch view. I'll grab it going in the wrong viewing direction that I wanted, but that's okay. 
Okay, so let's use the offset command once more. I will select this edge, then use the shift key to grab the tangent chain. Let's change this negative 2.5. That's good. Hit the check mark out of the toolbar. Hit the check mark out of here. And now I can take that sketch and project it onto this surface and hit the check mark. So now that I have a curve here, I can use this as a trajectory for a sweep. Let me use the right mouse button to say that I want to remove material. Let's also use the right mouse button to get to our sketch. And for the sketch of this one, I'm just going to use a circle and let's make it diameter of one. Then I can hit the check mark to get out of sketch mode. Let's hit the check mark to complete the sweep. And so here we have a real groove in the model that removes material. And let's hide the project just so that you can see the entire feature. And similarly, if you wanted to do an engraving, hey, let's project a sketch onto a surface and then use that to divide the surface. So let me turn on my datum plane display and let's create a sketch. I'll use the datum plane called front and then use the sketch button. Let's go to our sketch view. And once again, I will create a text based sketch and let's make a vertical line and move the dialog box aside. Let's do center justified for the text. Let me type in Acme and hit the OK button. Hit the middle mouse button to get out of the text feature. Let's change this dimension to four and change this one to 12 and hit the check mark. Now let me rotate the model. Let's turn off our datum plane display. I'm going to project that sketch onto this surface and hit the check mark. That is good. And now we can use that sketch to divide the surface. Let's go to the split dropdown, divide surface, and surf surfaces to divide will be this one. Let's use a chain of edges. And I can use the details button to use rule based, all curves and feature, and then grab an entity from the feature. Click the OK button. And there you can see the surface that will be divided from the other one. And then I can select this surface. And so now we can go into the flexible modeling tab. We can use the offset command and we can actually offset this into the part so that we would be removing material. Yeah, let's use an offset of one and hit the check mark. And so that's the way that we could do the groove today using the divide surface command with the flexible offset. So again, cosmetic groove feature is still there in the interface but there are other ways that you would probably create the geometry today.